Today is the official beginning day of the whole studio makeover. This studio makeover, this uh, studio project is Baptiste's studio. The concept for this studio is going to be, it has how many corners? It has one, two, three, four, five. It has like six spaces and then some backdrops. So the concept for this is I want to have an African corner, I want to have a modern corner, I want to have an accent wall, I want to have a palette like or rustic wall and then of course where he will sit his office and everything and then there's a certain beam in the middle of the room i'll show you guys uh we will see it as we continue with the project there's a certain beam i also want to convert it into a beautiful space so i am very excited to get started and today we're going to be starting with the african corner the african corner uh, will just have uh, a couch it will have, of course, painting that's rich in color. I want to go and uh, get some paint, yellow, mustard yellow, or burnt yellow, whatever you, you call it. But I want to work with that kind of yellow. I want to work with uh, one couch. I've been very inconsistent with my posting, guys. I know. Um, what happens is DIYs are very unpredictable. Sometimes you're thinking, by Tuesday I'll be done with this. I'll be done with everything shut go and then it's tuesday and you're not done because abc happened because this wood filler didn't work because blah 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 whatever that has made it also a little bit tricky for me to consistently put out content uh the other thing is that i have had two very like busy projects to say like with very crazy deadlines so it's like do i finish this first in two weeks or do i stop for a whole one day or two days to go edit and shoot for youtube it's been a whole conundrum guys do you see how deep i've become in this time of inconsistency it's been a whole conundrum so i really apologize for that i am doing my best to just uh keep trying to put videos out here consistently i hope you you stick around and you're patient with me and if you are more subscribed i hope you subscribe so that you get that video when it comes out let's go for it let's do this let us do this and uh, if you have not subscribed join the crew if you have subscribed you are thank you part for your part of the crew and let's go guys clearly I'm, I'm super excited i'm way too excited let's go let's do this The first thing is prep work. I think if you're done with prep work, you're done with half of the painting. So what we are doing is we're just laying out some masking tape in a straight line because I want to paint the mustard yellow in the corner. And we're also laying out the tap on the ground. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know, I know. Is it day five of this project? Honestly, I felt sick in between there As I've been telling you And... I lost count of those days, but I'm just glad to be back. So uh, today what I'm here to work on is this couch. This is going to be our one-seater couch that's going to go on the African corner. 
and just that upon that and then you need to shine. So this is a modern couch before we were rudely interrupted. This is a couch that's gonna go on that African corner. I'm calling this an African corner because I don't know what else to call it. So uh, this is the one seater couch that's gonna go there and I want to work on it today. I got this frame done in Gikomba. I did not shoot that process sadly. Um, what I just want to work on is putting the the foam and whatever else really I need to put on it and uh, we will patch it up ready to go all set and all ready to go is that okay guys before I even start on this couch I'm a beginner I've not done this before so you're gonna need to be gracious with me okay okay I've just seen it be done and be present in it being done something like that but i'm not personally ever tackled a project like this alone so i'm very excited to go uh, and see where this road leads and uh fingers crossed that it works out right because of how unwell i've been you will be seeing a, a certain dude i've called to come and just help me put a last coat on these places so that's uh, what we are going to be doing as as you see me do this you see someone in the background just be putting in i needed one last coat and this illness has really set me back a lot of days so there's that so let's get to work Now all these supplies for making this chair including the frame itself I got them from Gikomba. You just go there with uh, a design, the measurements that you want and then they'll make it for you. Maybe next time I'll attempt to do it myself but this time I was not feeling quite uh, confident yet to go in and make the frame myself but all these supplies, the contact glue, the foam, the staple gun, everything I got from Gikomba. Now this is completely off topic but let me tell you this Joakali guys or these guys that do a lot of manual work the wealth of information they have over the course of this project i've come to realize they have such a wealth of information like i was learning so much just from this dude being here for about he was here i think for like five hours i learned so so much from them these guys have uh, they have a wealth of information So the basic process for the chair, let me just go over it, summarize it for you, is I come in with a form, I measure it, I cut it in the dimensions of the chair, and then I stick the form onto the chair using contact glue, and then I go in with some Decron. Decron is that whitish cotton thing you're seeing me touch, and then um, I go in with the fabric. I will attach the fabric to the chair using staple gun, and where the staple gun, I feel like it's not really, really doing the best job. I used some tack pins or some tack nails, those little black nails. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares, sitting right there. But if I lay down. Still I 
parts of you are like a taunt Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay it down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Play dead, will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's back and blue from the bruising I feel like you know how it's looking like? I hope you guys are comment down below in the comments I think this is pretty okay for a beginner, right? 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 You better have said right You better have said right So what I want to do now is make a cushion see the measurement for this <coughs> the measurement for this there's no like cushion that comes in that measurement so i want to chop one i got an extra one so that i could chop it glue them together and then put it here <sighs> but i'm loving it so far guys i hope you are as well you better be why am i threatening you like this today guys why why am I threading you like this this evening? And on that note, if you have not subscribed. Yeah. Yeah. not true i want to put up all my walls cause i'm not in the mood but then i cut myself off from the rest of the room i know that i can kneel it all if you're patient and soon it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn it hurts man i could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning i've been searching for a purpose i hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please You're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently thrown across every surface It makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man Life is a nuisance, tie up some loose ends I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution A place like this, it didn't exist, we made it like this So we went out and we made a new friend, a guy called Chris uh, He was working just nearby where we were at He had a circular saw and we thought maybe if we go at it with a circular saw it will lessen the work And still, 
the circular saw could only go so far because as you can see his blade is a little bit small so he still went in with his hand saw and a chisel and that is how we approached this thing until we were completely done but this thing took us time this thing gave us a proper proper run for our money so if i were to do this again because i will be getting like some discs some rings type things I would definitely have them chop it up. Where I bought it, which was along Limuru Road, they usually have power saws. It's just at the time they did not. Next time, or if you do decide to do this, just wait for the power saw to come back and cut it because I am sure that is going to take much less time. And then Chris was so gracious, he offered to just help me with the sanding. Here we're just going in with the drill and the bit for sanding. And then after some basic cleanup, it was time to go in with varnish. I'm applying the polyurethane clear varnish with the... down the ones below this i got these pillows in gikomba i have a whole video about where to get pillows in gikomba the whole thing i have a whole video so in case you're interested in that in case you're wondering where to get pillows uh make sure to check that video out today is the final day of the african makeover or the african corner whatever we, we really want to call it and today what I've come to do is to put in the light fixture and to just put in the final touching finishes. Let me show you what I mean. So what I mean is uh, to put in the pillowcases for like that pillow and the other two pillows that are going to go there. To stage that stamp properly, ignore my setup, my whole creative engineering expert setup. And then to put in um, the, the, what are they called? These things. This these things to put this onto that and then yeah to put the plant which you've just seen me get so guys let's get going let's get doing it and today i brought in extra help i brought in extra help because i needed extra help come here come here extra help come here extra help 
this is extra help extra help do you want to say a few words to mwende kimondo community my goodness what are you doing ah the next thing we wanted to do is put up uh, a skin there the skin that he's holding yes that's the one we wanted to put there we feel like that really really captures the african vibe so that's what we will put there as art originally in fact this was baptist's idea baptist this was the idea yeah? yeah yeah originally i had wanted to put art i had wanted to just buy a huge uh, piece of art like a white and black piece of art very simple but then baptist came up with a skin idea and i thought it was such a brilliant idea so that's what we are putting up today we got this skin from some guy in masai market this is just goat skin in case you need his number just hit me up on my instagram i link you up with him in case you need any skin but i know you can find skin in so many places you can find skin on those kijabe kimende that road there's a lot of skin there but in case you need it just hit me up so that's what we want to do we want to put it up baptist is using some small what, where are the nails you want to show them yeah so he's using those nails because the wall that we're working with here is plywood wall the the compound the compartment the partition is made of plywood so we think that will help it hold on best Please show me the way, baby, to your heart. Please show me the way, baby, to your heart. And nothing is better for me to be with you. And nothing is better for me. The next thing we want to do is put the tails on the wall. These ones, oh, I hope you guys can see them, but you'll see them on the wall. So the next thing we want to do is put those on the wall and then uh, I think we'll proceed to the light fixture. This light fixture what it is is just basically a bulb holder in here a bulb holder can you all see i hope you all can see it's just a bulb holder and a wire and then i got a lampshade for it so i wanted it to have a kiondo lampshade and i am loving how it's coming out so far what we were doing a second ago was we were getting like some incision where the wire will pass so right now what i want to do is i want to go turn off this at the mains before I am shocked back into reality, <laughs> before I am awoken up from this BBI nonsense. So. <laughs> the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything
delete it so that you don't miss any upload make sure to share this video with your friends like it um what else what else is done with videos comment down below it really really helps with the algorithm it really helps to push the video ahead so make sure to and uh, to share with someone who you think might be interested in doing like an african themed living room or space in their house i think there's tips to pick up here and i think that was it i will see you on the next one hopefully the accent one um yeah thanks for watching to the very very end bye bye Blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they.